you've increased the efficiency of your data centre by a large amount by connecting it to a district heating system. Um, can you tell us something about the, the most important aspect of that? Yeah, the most important aspect is that, first of all, to be able to collect the heat, you need to have a consumer who can consume it. And in our case, it's the city of Bantsala, who has a very large district heating uh, network and a lot of industrial sites nearby. So that's, that's the basic on, on, on that sense. And then, from uh, exhaust heat, what we have, we can do it easily by adding just a radiator, which collects the heat from the reacted air. Okay, so the first thing is to do about this is to try and live in Finland, because in Finland, every town has a district heating system, and you have a customer for your heat. Yeah, and yes, that's absolutely true, and, and I would say that makes, in our case in Finland, very uh, good location for data center because you have a naturally a lot of clients who are willing to take your heat for their system and they are also willing to pay for it. Okay. And I've often heard it said that um, the, out, the waste heat in air-cooled data centers is too cool to be a really good efficient heat source, um, that 37 degrees isn't hot enough, but you disagree. I'm totally disagreeing on that because the current uh, heat pump technology what is, is available as I showed on my presentation is capable of COP values up to four, a little bit above four, which means 75% of the heat can be pumped up so the efficiency is very good. So you can have air coming in, your data centre can give air at 37 degrees and with the heat, with the addition of the heat pump what temperature does the, uh, day, does the um, district heat system get it? The district heat will get it up to 85 Celsius. So that's, that's hot enough for that's, anything. Yeah, that's hot enough. And because the volume is high enough, then the district heat company can increase the volume instead of increasing the temperature because the energy is multiplied by volume by temperature. So in that sense, if you have a lower temperature, you just increase the volume and you get the same energy out of it. Another objection to uh, waste heat reclamation from data centers is uh, that it's too intrusive, that you'll have to make changes to your data center in order for it to happen. Is that your experience? Uh, our experience is that we didn't do any changes. Uh -huh. So basically because it is in our outgoing airstream, it doesn't have any effect on any design, any uh, automation, anything. So it just, on that point when we collect it and sell it, it's already left the building. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Although you did have to add some extra fan power in order to get it out of the building. Yeah. So that is calculated value. We don't know what reality is because the uh, heat recapture coils are so good and so efficient, most likely it hasn't have any impact on the fans at the moment. Okay, but you did make it in your presentation say that it's possible that these ex this extra use of fans would actually reduce your PUE. Yeah, it will do that, but total energy wise, we gain so much that the PUE value is is not important characteristic us. More important is the heat recycling. Okay. So, the uh, so, so uh, one point there is that uh, district heat recycling heat through district heat systems is such a good idea that data centres should do it, even if it impacts on their um, on their PUE. Yes, definitely they should. Yes. Okay, that's a brilliant thought. And. Um, the, the next step, some people would say, would be to use uh, water-cooled systems to get more heat out, but from the sound of it, you don't need to think about that at all. No, basically we don't, because we can still use the same principle, just relocating the heat recapture coils, a little bit different location in the airstream, and we will gain more out of that than putting system different system in place. And there's still scope for improving the heat reclamation from your air-cooled system without yes. thinking of get, doing anything strange and uh, a big radical change to your data center. Yeah, not big radical changes, but definitely we need to improve uh, 
because we are more, most efficient on summertime because we don't need to heat the incoming air. Right. Just to try to get rid of that section with a little bit replaced uh, cooling coils, a little bit different locations so we can then even in the coldest winter we can produce as much as possible heat out of the system. Excellent. That sounds fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you.